Yeah, good afternoon and welcome back to uh, Mark's Railway Trails and uh, where we're going today on Mark's Railway Trails is looking at the new development for Lee Green Railway Station. Um, what you're looking at here now is um, some of the pictures of what the uh, railway station is going to look like when it's finished. That's an artist impression and uh, this is the reason I wanted to come here today just to get it on the blog really and show you Lee Green Station what it's like at the moment um, obviously they put these pictures up today to give you an artist impression what it's going to be like station forecourt it'll look pretty impressive really and uh, new station uh, building with car parking on the top so I'm going to take you around and just show you the green station what it's like now um, but nice to see some of these pictures actually and it does look um, pretty impressive um, how it's going to look and good for the area as well and I've done Lee Green before on my blog but I just had to get this one on really with it being under development now and show you um, what it's like now and for those that don't know the area, Lee Green Station is next to Shirley Park. Um, Sutton High School is just over there. That's Sutton High and just behind it is Shirley Park. But this is what they're redeveloping now. And this was all wasteland originally. And this is where they're going to have extend the car park. Uh, it's going to be a uh, double, double layer. And... Uh, this was wasteland for ages and um, just look there where the new houses are just over there this was all wasteland and that's going to be the car park where the cars are going to be like multi-storey so imagine if you bought your house over there and uh, seven or eight years later uh, probably ten years later you're going to be facing a, a car park, I wouldn't be chuffed with that, but just shows you, you never know what you're buying. <laughs> yeah, just on, on the railway, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All oh, right. Yeah, and we've got the main gaffer over here, it's just telling us what's going on, so. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but yeah, what's, uh, how big is this going to be? and a um, couple of million pound investment they've done on here as well extending it up but this is going to be double double layer all the way across we've got a lot of workmen looking <laughs> well it's all you go to the original station now there's a lot of uh, work going on here so I'm going to show you the original station of Lee Graham, what it looks like now, and you send the artist impression what it's gonna look like. But quite a lot going on here, and uh, just flip the camera around, you can just see where they're putting all the mains in. Yeah. Oh. Alright guys, it's all been uh, dug up. And if you just look where the two workmen are now, and I'll, I'll try and get round there to show you. As you can see, it's all been started to dug up now. Here's the regional ticket office. I'll try and sneak round here and get a picture of the plaque on here which just tells you about it there's the area with guys so I don't want to try but there you go there's the original plaque that was put up in uh, 10th of October 2000 when the new Lee Green station was built uh, I imagine that plaque's going to be moved I'd imagine uh, unless that wall still there's the I'll we'll take you down to Lee Green Station as well um, why I'm here 
um, to show it you. And I'll show you where the original Lee Green station was before this was built. And we're going to find the old Lee Green station on this block as well today. I'm going to add it both together, showing you the station as it was now up on top. It'll be good to come back next year and have a look at the new station. But this station's so handy for us in St Helens, especially for me. I just cross over the road and trains to Liverpool and Manchester. Ideal. Just keep this running down here and there. Now I'm going to go right to the end here, and this is Lee Green Station. Uh, you can see one of George Stevenson's bridge. He's just there. But I'm going to go right to the. Uh, right to the end and uh, and show you <laughs> cheers mate you alright Paul <laughs> but just down there we'll go right to the end here on like so this is Lee Green Station and Shirdley Park and uh, I'll not cross where it's saying don't because you have cameras on here that uh, highlight send an alarm off into the office but if you just look down there now where you can see hopefully the green light that is where the original uh, Lee Green station was and I'll tell you more about the original Lee Green station um, which closed in 1964 and you can just see a little truck going over the bridge there just past that bridge is the original Lee Green station and we're going to get that cutting over the hills uh, this afternoon and I'll show you that high up as well but just while I was here I just had to show you Lee Green station the way we're walking now that will if you're on the uh, this side this will take you to Manchester that side takes you to Liverpool so We're going to cross over, cross over here now, and uh, head back. Well, if you just look at the bridge in front of you, it's a giveaway. George Stevenson's. Um, it's on his 1830 line. It's a giveaway, really. Uh, similar bridge at uh, at Rainhill as well. So. There you go, that's the line to Liverpool and the line to Manchester. So I'm going to pause it here until we get back on the trail and uh, we're going to go up and find the original Lee Green station that closed in 1964. And we're going to cross, go over the tops really and I'll get you um, a very high up view of Lee Green, the old Lee Green station and Lee Green pits that was there before. So just pause it here because all you'll see is me walking um, to get to the hills to get over and hopefully find the old Lee Green station. And just as I was leaving, Trans Pennine Express comes in. You can just see it now, that's coming from Liverpool. And uh, if you can just look in the carriage there, uh, another lady train driver today. And. Uh, Just waiting to go off now. I'm gonna go down and have a close look. Always good to get one of these on your blog. <laughs> there it goes. Nice smile off the uh, train driver there. Oh, 
on our way to Manchester down the 1830 line at George Stevenson built. And how good a service is that? You just see it going off in the distance now. There's George Stevenson's bridge. Well, we couldn't miss that on Mark's railway trails. We love uh, seeing a live train on a live line, and off it goes into the distance. Another lady driver today as well. Got a nice smile off her. So, there it goes to Charlie Collins' country and Tony Redmond's in Manchester. So, we'll go back on to where we was uh, going. Couldn't miss that. And uh, we're going to pick up uh, going over the hills now and find the original Lee Green station. And here we go. I just wanted to uh, cut out really all the walking from the station to where we are now. And I'll just flip the camera up, just flick it up a bit higher. If you're looking over there now, if you remember when I did the brickworks, that was the brickworks there, uh, Ipswich brickworks. But where go, where we're going to go today is right on top there and get a, a view looking over the old Lee Green station and we're going to have to admit and go over the hills really so that's where I'm going to take you now and uh, I'm just showing you this route because if anybody wants to walk it it's quite accessible to walk really and uh, if you're looking at all the bollards in the road running along they like the cycle paths and uh, this is the main road that leads up to Dream so it's all kind of coned along permanent cones for cycle path and that leads all the way to Dream and uh, there's a few other ways you can get to Dream but this is the main road up and uh, like I said what you're looking at over here now just flip the camera in I'm sure you remember I did that walk probably about two months ago Ipstock's old brickworks and there's like a waterway that runs through it if you remember I got in right over there on the fence and walked it and was stood on top of the big brick mountain and then walked on top of the hill so that's where we're going to go today and uh, hopefully find the original Lee Green station that closed in 1964. Just give an idea where we are. If you look across there, that's Brickfields Red Quarry, and uh, that will take you to Mill to Mill Dam on Mill Lane. And that's just over the road from uh, Shedley Park. As you know, around here there's a lot of dams and a lot of lakes and. Uh, what you're passing here was Ipswich Brickworks, which sadly closed. And they don't class this as green belt land now, it's brown belt, so you just know that's going to be houses. You mark my words within the next 10 years. All along here, it'll be a new house in the States, guarantee it. Guarantee it. Well, I just wanted to cut off walking from Lee Green because it gets a bit monotonous really, you're not seeing much. But I just wanted to show you, anybody who watches me uh, blogs, no Peter watches them quite a bit. Uh, the Model Boat Club at uh, Taylor Park watches quite a bit. And again, quite a few people watching at Nines and Talons. There's a guy coming down the cycle there. But this is where it's, we're going to nip through. Brick fields, the daisy fields, they're all named. And uh, like I say, it's named after Ipstock, the Brickworks, uh, Community Forest, Northwest, and that's their symbol there. So we're going to cut through here, and uh, this hopefully should bring us out where we want to be on Lawfields Lane, uh, which leads to the original Lee Green Station. And this is a cracking walk, just walking around here, if you just want to do it. And this will lead you up to Dream. Anybody that knows St. Helens, 
you can actually get to dream from here. It brings you out uh, St George's playing field. And then you just cross over and then you're facing dream. So it's quite a nice walk really. Not on the mountain bike today, I'm going on foot, but what a warm day again. What a warm day and I've actually got some water under today, so. A bit of walking today, but what a nice day again to do it. So anybody in St. Thomas wants to do that walk, just come past the Bull and Dog to where you're going to clock face. Keep on the right hand side. When you see the brickworks, you'll see uh, as you walk round, you'll just hit this trail and just follow it. You know, it's um, not saying you could get lost, of course, of course you could, because I've got lost on here. Because take a left instead of a right, you can be going for a few miles. <laughs> Like I say, it's quicker on the mountain bike, but you miss a lot of it as well. And uh, I know we've not got time today, but there's a lot of sculptures around here, all around the walk. And uh, on the other side, there's a lot in glass as well. And they're quite impressive, but we've really not got time today to find all of those. So if we come across any, I'll show you. I think they're more on the left hand side um, it's like a big rest area on the left hand side really this is one of the first walks I did really when I started doing um, the walks when I had just after Covid so this was like a little gem I found really that's the way you want to be going if you're heading towards Dream but we're going to carry straight on And Lee Green Colliery was up here as well, on the hills, I'll show you where that is. Um, and they're all links, wasn't it, to the railways, you know. If you take a right here, I remember doing this last time, that'll take you to the brickworks. It's all fenced off now, but like all these places, it's nine times out of ten, I'm certain you'll find a way in if you want to do it. Sundays round here is quite busy. You get a lot of dog walkers. But yeah, the Forester Commission, when they redid all these places, they planted thousands and thousands of trees and uh, they're all coming up now which is nice to see because when you get walkways like this they kind of all kind of do like an arch really as you're walking through them really good well again lonely places they can be as well I certainly wouldn't like to walk through here at night, that's for certain. <laughs> but you never get a bad vibe about the place, you know. Not like um, Shirley Park in uh, one of the old, in the Dam Wood, sorry, in Shirley Park. You know, as I've told you many times about the tragic history of Dam Wood in Shirley Park. Um, you don't get that feeling in it. It's pretty present, really. What you've got on down here is a massive big drop. Uh, it's like a waterway. It's second the water. Um, I think from uh, Middle Dam, I think it is. But how pleasant this, how quiet it is. And normally I do, you just, I'm whispering and I don't know why. <laughs> But if you just look down there now, sorry, I'll just give you a shot. Big drop and there's like a stream that runs through. But a massive drop that is. And we want to be on the other side really, so. 
Um, not climbing any streams and that involves today. I'm just trying to take it with a track, really. And I want to show uh, people how to get to this, really, because it is a cracking, cracking walk. I remember videoing this, like I said, beginning of the, uh, probably last year, but my camera's got better since and the equipment's got better, so I wanted to redo it, really. There you go, it brings you out of a T-junction here. Just show you up here. One hell of a drop down there. Big drop down. We want to be on that other side, heading over there. What a hell of a drop. And if you go back up that way, that will bring you out to where we've come. If you go up that way, that will lead you to Harry Taylor's, back of Harry Taylor's house. And uh, it's not a morning, it's an afternoon, so he'll not be having his uh, eggs and bacon which Harry has at 11 o'clock every morning. And Harry, if you're watching, I don't know what you have for lunch, so I can't mention it on the blog. <laughs> and hopefully this should bring us to... Yeah, that way is heading towards Dream. Yeah, this is it. Little bridge. You get to remember little, little things, really. It reminds you of where you are. It's just take you across and we're heading towards Lowfield Lane, want to be heading. And there's the brook that runs through, remember showing you that runs all the way through. And hopefully we can get through here. On top, yeah, brilliant. Again, Sunday's made. Made it a walkway really, so people keep putting holes in fences, they made it a walkway, so that's brilliant that. Made up with that, Tap that. I wanted to do this part again because this is linked into Lee Green Station and I can get you a real good shot above and it's dry, which is brilliant. I think when I did this was in winter and it was absolutely sludgy there on my mountain bike. <laughs> if you're wondering where that leads to straight ahead, that'll lead you towards the brickwork. But we don't want to be going down there, we want to be going uphill. Ooh, nice breeze. I just want to get a shot up here because so high up, it's so good. We can actually see where Lee Green Station is. From above, really. And get you a better shot of it. And I'm going to get a drink when I get up here as well. Whew. What a warm day. Bit of power walking today as well, so Look good that they put benches out now. You see the benches. Uh, but we want to be going right to the top. And what we're walking on now originally was Lee Green Colliery. Which was right next to Lee Green Station, the original station on the George Stevenson 1830 line. But if you ever come to some of these walks and you're not sure, you always see little paths in the grass and that tells you that it's popular, it's a popular walkway. So gives you a good little tip really. There we go. And I think the member says like, there should be a bench on the top here as well. 
that we can look straight across here and nip across. Just, we can nip across. Ooh. What a warm day. Really warm today. It's surprising how the trees have, have grown. I'm going to get high up here. Just give me a minute to start the camera out. Whoa, there we go. So for all of you who don't really know St. Helens, just to give you a bearing, um, we've come through what they call brick fields, right over the Shirdley Park's over here. We've come along at Brickfields, come through the woods over the top, brings us out to here. And if you just see in the distance where the, uh, the parlour is, look to the right, that's actually Dream. You can just see its head popping up now. And it's getting less and less now because over 8,000 trees are planted in Dream and they're all coming up now. And a bit like Brickfields, look how many trees have come up there, but that gives you an idea where we are but if I swing my camera around here and uh, you'll see the power plant there just give you an idea that's low field lane now that we're on if you look just over there that's the police training centre but just down there in the distance if you see where the co-op sign is I'll try and zoom in on this a bit more to show you and get it down a bit just let me camera if you look over there where the bridge you see where the traffic's going over on the motorway just along there that is the George Stevenson 1830 line that takes you to Liverpool and just further down here just as you get to did you see the farmhouse buildings are there they're the original buildings from when Lee Green station was built and obviously they've added some new ones just at the side of it there but just down there you can't see it because of the trees now it's actually Lee Green Station that we've come to find today and, uh, Lee Green Station opened in 1830 believe it or not on the 1830 line of George Stevenson it's one of the first stations but there wasn't any timetable or passengers I think on it till 1831 and it's uh, Tony Redmond's listening, it's in metres to Orlick, 950 metres towards that way that brings you out to the new Lee Green station that opened in 2000. So that one closed in 1964 and uh, the new one opened in 2000. And I presume it's got to be a beachings cut if it's 60s, it's got to have been a beachings cut because there were so many stations around St Helens. Honestly, there was, I bet there was 20 plus maybe more, um, so it's got to be a beachings cut. Um, 1844, they called it Sutton Station. 1848, they renamed it Lee Green, and that's just down there, and uh, it actually closed in 1964. Sorry, you didn't know that I got that wrong. That's the wrong date. I'm thinking 1958. Sorry, uh, Lee Green Station um, closed, not 1964. Um, it opened in 1830, 1831. I'm doing these off the top of my head today. I could have done it a few times, but no, it was 1958. It closed. It wasn't an ambitious call. Um, it was the pit here that we're on now. It shut in 1964, Lee Green Colliery, which spanned down and headed towards Lee Green Station. So, um, and like I said, there's still some of the original buildings there. And they were bombed quite a lot in the Second World War. And uh, it wasn't the buildings they were after, to believe it or not. It was the railway, because it went to Liverpool and they used to ferry a lot of ammo and stuff to the docks. So they used to come down the line from Liverpool, the Luftwaffe, and they bombed this quite a few times. And I've got pictures of the old um, cottages being bombed. I'll show you some of the old cottages that's left. 
But I'm going to get a drink here now, cut off, and then when we get near Lee Green Station, I'll put, put it back on and show you Lee Green Station that closed in 1958. But just over there, you can see Dream. I'm going to get a drink and uh, hopefully can find Lee Green Station this way. We're going to do a shortcut all down there through the vegetation and uh, hopefully show you the cottages and Lee Green Station. So catch you in a bit and here we go just like I say I just want to cut off there and come back because we're just coming down the hills now and I've just kind of cut through here now and hopefully this will bring us out on uh, Lawfield Lane um, if my maps are right but what a warm day again I'd rather do it in this weather than doing it and it's absolutely chucking it down. I've just kind of come off beat now at Brickfields because um, this should take you. What we're trying to find now is where we came over the tops. Um, looking down at Lee Green original station, hopefully this is going to bring us out here. And if it doesn't, it's a bit of a walk. You can just see all the brooks that run through it as well. That's where we just cut across. And... Maybe it doesn't, I'm not sure. That's what we're doing at a dead end there, because... I'm not going up there. Um, because that'll lead us back. But what can you see in the distance there? I'm not going to go up there. Put your shopping trolley, you know, it never fails, does it? <laughs> Hopefully, this is not blocked off. Well, we're looking alright, but I think this is the route. I can hear the power station, so it's not a bad sign. I can hear some traffic. I just hope this is not blocked off. I do not fancy going back all the way up over the hill. Now oh, this is looking promising. Woo! Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. Whew. I actually see a lot round here. All the old bricks from Ipstocks. They're everywhere. And uh, yeah, this is good. This is where we want it to be. And uh, that's good. Whoa. There you go, that's where we wanted to be. And uh, the old electricity pylon station, you've got to watch it down here because they fly. And we'll cross over in a minute. And this is what they class as low fuel line. And uh, there's the electricity power station. <laughs> to the mountain biker just going off so much quicker on your bike but to get a lot of these on your blog I think it's better walking it sometimes uh, you get a better picture really than just whizzing along and seeing it now looking at my maps you go to the left just up here and you should be hitting the old Lee Green station that closed which I set up to the 1964, it wasn't, it was 1958. I was getting confused then with the uh, the pit when it closed. Because like I say, I'm just going off memory now, but I remember these dates quite well. What a warm day and it's, you can feel it when you walk in heat. I'm going to have to cross over again. Like I said, they really fly down here. And when he stood here with a speed camera, you're surprised how many people throw down. <laughs> and this was used for landfill for quite a few years. It's uh, all been closed off now. 
Um, they just show you. This was used for landfill for quite a few years, to be honest with you. Uh, but it's all been regenerated now. And if you just look up there, that's where we was on the top, looking right over. And we we got in through uh, Brickfields. There it is, Lord St Helens landfill, and uh, all that's shut now. But just up here on the left hand side you should find a bridge and the side of the bridge was the original Lee Green station. So if you want to walk it just head towards Lowfield Lane, get to this bend and the bridge and just look for the cottages, there's cottages there, I'll show you the name on the cottages and it'll give you an idea where or the train going through. You see it there? Thanks for picked it up. There you go. <laughs> oh yeah, what a warm day. And this is what they call Fog Cottage in uh, Lee Green. There you go. And I'm not going because we've gone mad we get a camera. Uh, fog Cottages. And there were some of the original farmhouses were there, obviously been rebuilt. Uh, and as the sign says, guide dogs on patrol on this property, which you can understand. But what we're trying to find today is not Fog Cottage. The original Lee Green station, and uh, here we go. And do not trespass on the railway, a thousand pound, and penalty for not closing the gate, a thousand pound. So, why would you have a thousand pound for not closing the gate that you shouldn't be on? You know, that's what I don't understand. So, whether we can open this gate. We can. There you go, my witness. I've not got a thousand pound. There we go. And that's where you was one of the uh, ways into the old Lee Green station. What you're looking across there now. Just takes you to the electricity pylon station. But what we're walking now is the original way into Lee Green Station. And uh, as you know, on Max Railway Trails, we always take heed of any signs saying don't go on or you know you might be fine. So that's why we're on it, you see. <laughs> and there you go, this is what's left uh, the old Lee Green station and uh, what is still there which is a good find there were the original steps I won't say the banister is it's probably been replaced but they're the original steps that were here in 1830 taking you down into the station and they're still here so what a good find and uh, I'm just going to get on top. I'm not going to go in it, before anybody says, but what you're looking at now, just here, on both sides, that was the original Lee Green Station, uh, named Sutton Station for about four years, and then they changed it back. And just over there where you can see the buildings, there were the original farmhouse and farmhouse cottages, uh, obviously been modernised since, but the original farmhouse is still there. Uh, um, like I said, that was bombed quite a few times in World War Two after bombing the uh, the rail lines. And they just use this now as um, like an offloading really for network rail. There's seen a lot of network rail guys down here. Um, but if you look over there, we're not going here. It's a live line. You've got to be stupid to do that. But you can just see some of the original right in the corner the uh, where the 
platform used to be of the old lead main station. I'm going to go up the steps actually and show you where the old cottages was but that's the way we've come, we've come down there, we've come right over the hills but that's the money shop today, finding the original steps of George Stevenson's 1830 line which took you down to uh, Lee Green Station. That opened in uh, 1830, there wasn't a passenger timetable to 1831. Well, it didn't live long with the station really, 1958 it closed but it used to help the colliery as well with the uh, transporting the coal um, to Liverpool and just behind Lee Green as you know Sutton, Sutton Manor colliery they're all linked you see in railways they're all part of them and and um, I know the colliery here at Lee Green um, 10 years before it shut they moved a lot of production to Sutton Manor but Lee Green was notorious for accidents, collapses, fires and there's quite a lot of deaths at Lee Green Colliery so um, history wise they had a lot of prosecutions uh, even going back then so maybe that's why a lot got moved to Sutton Colliery, I, I don't know I did my research more on the railway rail I'm going to take you up that's where it was, you're going to come and find it, there's nothing here to see, it's all been long cleared uh, I'm going to take you up and show you where the original old cottages were as well before we uh, before we head back. So where we go? Let's have a walk up and, uh, like I said, the original steps still here. It's a classic find, which led down to the original Lee Green Station. And that just brings you out on the bridge, right on top here, and uh, that just leads you down. That was the way that used to lead you down to the station. Just hear a train going through. But what I'm going to take you now, we just go over the bridge here, and we take a right. I'll show you where some of the original um, cottages were. A lot of them have been replaced now, um, not too many left. But that's where we came, over the top of the hills, and we're going to head this way now. If you just look down there, just where the cars go in now, just on the left, that was the original farmhouses and farm cottages, a couple have been replaced. But there's still a couple of them there, the original ones. and. Uh, Still the original ones that were bombed in World War II and what you're looking at going over the top that the M62 that takes you to Reno and Manchester the other way but if you just go down here and this is where I'm going to finish Mark's railway trail today because I've got to show you this but you get a lot of cars whizzing down here <laughs> you've got to be careful just down here and there's still some have been modernised now but the original railway cottages were here and uh, obviously a lot's been replaced I think there's one that's probably like it was dating back you can see you can just see how it's built um, it's in better days the majority of these have been replaced but this is where the uh, original Lee Green um, cottages were for the railways and I'm not going to go in there but that just takes you up to Lawfield Lane, go, go left and that's where we just come I keep the camera running till I go down here what you can hear on the left is Lee Green distribution centre for the co-op I'm going to cross over here now. And this just brings you out to Lee Green Distribution Centre. And I'll just show you that as I'm passing it before I cut off. And this is like a shortcut really. That they use really for the works coming into the co-op at Lee Green. But everybody kind of uses it to cut through. Because this cut through just brings you back out 
virtually to the new Lee Green station that opened in 2000. But I'm looking forward to seeing the new station when it's finished. It's going to be big and uh, what an investment for the town as well. And that's why I wanted to do this blog today really. And uh, just to show it you really because people always wonder what it was like before. I just flip the camera around here, what you can see here, Charlie and Tony, the Green Distribution Centre. It used to be Morrison, it used to be um, Summerfield before the co-op merged with it and before the dark side came in. <laughs> but uh, we'll not mention that today. So I'm just going to get to this roundabout and uh, just see some of the coat wagons going out now. But a bit of a trek, but I've shown it you in a few different candles really than, than I did before. And uh, I'm so glad that we got the new station under construction really. And all this is just a car park now for the coat. I'm going to sneak through here. Uh, the corpse side. I keep it running till the end, till where it brings you out. <laughs> what you're looking across there, if you look across the field, you can just see the railway line running all along to the new Lee Green station, and there's a new housing state behind. Lee Green Station and I tell you what I bet they're well chuffed having a multi-storey car park looking over your back garden that's probably just devalued them properties <laughs> and it just shows you if you've got spare land that's tidy of houses that you're buying you never know in years to come what it could become and I certainly wouldn't like a multi-storey car park facing my back garden no way but as always council Anything to do with property and land now uh, gets air stamped. <laughs> and if you look here, supporting your local community, the co op way. And what they mean by that is one motorbike and you can't see anybody about. That's the co op way, I think. <laughs> and I'm sure Charlie uh, would agree with me on that. <laughs> That's the co-op way. <laughs> Let's cut as many staff as we can and run you into the ground. But uh, that's just me being cynic of my last few years at the co-op. So this is the end of uh, Mike's Railway Trails today. And for a change we've actually had a railway. And I've seen two stations, the Green Pet. And it just shows you how big co-op distribution centre is um, and this just brings you out to Sutton High School and just behind that is Shirley Park and I know a lot of people in St Helens will know where I am but you know the likes of Charlie Collins and Tony Redmond and a few others Andrew Wilder a couple of the Stort lads they won't have a clue you know where we are really so that's why I keep giving pointers really, so it gives them a picture where, where we're walking to and where is it near, you know. And uh, Sutton High here, sports centre, got funded by Summerfield when they built the new distribution centre to put uh, money back into sport. And that's one of the reasons it got actually got passed at the time that they had to build all these uh, football pitches and playing pitches. And there it is, there's Sutton High. There's all the football pitches. That takes you into Shirdley Park, which we've done on my blog. If you want to see Shirdley Park on my blog, you'll see it. And, uh, and that just takes you back up to... Uh, up to Lee Green station and uh, hope you enjoyed the blog today good railway walk I'm going to cross over and uh, 
destroy some of these pictures because they spent some money on these. Um, there you go. They got all the football pictures there on two, and then the athletics track behind it. And just behind that, the Shirley Park. And that's the way in that you, you can get to it. So, so for Mark's Railway Trails, see you on the next vlog. I hope you enjoy Lee Green Station. I'm going to walk back up there now and uh, get a drink, nip through my back gate, and I'm back home. So, see you on the next one on Mark's Railway Trails.